they're doing. Unbelievable. No, it's all, these congressmen, they're looking, they're just shaking their head, they can't believe it. They can't believe two things, actually. The size of these crowds, you know, you could fill this place up three times. Why didn't you get a larger arena? Huh? Somebody said, as we were riding by, oh, it's too bad the arena hasn't started filling up. I said, no, you don't understand. It's totally full, but the line goes back for miles. It's already full. But we got to do that, fellas, you know? We got to do it. Because I've been saying for a long time, I said, these people are coming in from prisons and jails. Nobody listened to me. They're murderers. They're drug dealers. If you take a look at Venezuela as an example, their crime is down 72 percent because they've taken their criminals from Caracas. They've taken their drug dealers. They're emptying their prisons into our country. Their crime is down all over the world. Crime is down. In the Congo, in Africa, 22 people deposited into our country. Where do you come from, the Congo? We're in the Congo. Jail. What did you do? We will not say that. You can imagine. Listen, they come from Africa. They come from the Middle East, countries that are not friends of ours. And they're coming by the millions, by the millions. And these fools, Kamala, who's a Marxist, these fools are letting them come into our country, destroy our country. And I said, you know, did you ever see the hat? I don't want to brag, but they do have a big selling hat. You know what it says? Trump was right about everything, right? Front row Joes. Front row Joes. Right? No, but it's... Hey, look, if I ran one of those countries, I would be doing better than them, a 